message that at least 100 million people in the United States live with chronic pain. That number is qualified because it doesn't include children, veterans, or nursing home residents. That's about one-third of all Americans. So if you are one of the unfortunate ones who does not live with this chronic condition, take a look to your left and take a look to your right and know that the disease is almost assuredly silently present at every table in this room. The IOM report on pain that Cindy mentioned earlier derived these numbers and the report states at its first guiding principle, a moral imperative to address this public health issue. We the center couldn't agree more. And as an ethics center, we've taken a leadership role locally and nationally in supporting the movement to transform chronic pain. We've convened leaders from more than two dozen national organizations to discuss the creation of an alliance to advance the recommendations made in the IOM report. We refer to this effort as PAINS, which stands for the Pain Action Alliance to Implement a National Strategy. Along with a local effort, we refer to as Relieving Pain in Kansas City. Tonight, we invite you to join us. We need you to join us. Now, we always serve dinner about 7.30, and this year will be no exception. But instead of following our usual format, we're going to flip the program so you can hear from our speaker, Dr. Keith Whalu, knowing that he'll provide an absolutely terrific appetizer for your dinner conversation. After dinner, we'll share with you the rest of the story, as well as present our annual awards and the premiere of a trailer for an upcoming documentary to be aired on public television this fall from Dr. Lynn Webster, who's long toiled in these vineyards. The Robert L. Biblo Lecture was established in 1995 in memory of former Center for Practical Bioethics board member and remarkable healthcare leader, having led the health, Harvard Health Plan and served as Vice President of the Commonwealth Foundation, Robert Biblo. Tonight we will hear from Dr. Keith Whalu, the Townsend Martin Professor of History and Public Affairs at Princeton University since 2010, who will del deliver this 20th Biblo Lecture. Good ethics start with good facts. Dr. Weilu is an extraordinary historian and an insightful analyst. His critical and often disturbing look into how we have made an often devastating disease into a political theater may be as shocking as it is compelling. His accomplishments in exploring disease identity and how we turn issues of illness into ideological battles in this country should call all of us who give care as professionals or family members to a heightened awareness of the moral nature of our work. Here's a morsel from the last pages of the book, Pain, A Political History, by Dr. Weilu. People in pain sadly have carried two types of burdens. First, the onus of their own pain, and second, the burden of being props in this political theater. The theatrics surrounding pain did not stop with mere rhetoric or ideology, but as we will see, crept into policy making, touching fundamentally on matters of governance and power. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium, Keith Whalu.